Welcome to this week's Chumbi Wong Dong. In this edition, I'm going to give you another stretching tip that I've been doing recently to help you with your straddle stretch and your pancake and then possibly your splits as well. So it's very simple. You may want to get nice and warm first, do a couple of gentle stretches first, but basically you're going to go and sit in your straddle. The way that I like to sit in my straddle is I like to walk my legs out as far as I can first and then sit down from that. You might not have the flexibility for this yet, so if that is the case, just start in your straddle. So you're going to sit in your straddle, make sure that you're sat upright. Again, if you can't sit upright on the floor, sit on a block or a pillow or a cushion or whatever you need to do to make sure that your back is straight. From there, all you're going to do is very simply turn your toes from facing the ceiling like we normally do to turning them back as far as they can. Now they probably won't go very far back, but that muscle that you're using to turn them back will engage your hamstrings and the inside leg muscles. And you can hold this for 30 seconds for a minute. What I am gonna do, which I often do in uh, stretches where I'm trying to relax, is I take a deep breath in to my stomach, look up at the ceiling and try and arch my spine. And then I breathe out and look at the floor. I'm just going to do this three times slowly and then measure how far I have gone. Now in between this I'm going to take a little tiny set of uh, just relaxing my hips. So we like to do this thing in class called the windscreen wiper where your legs just go side to side and then I'm going to do the second round. So if that's enough for you that's totally fine. That's a good one to start with. This is now a follow along where I'm going to go into my uh, straddle again this time I'm going to try and go slightly wider than before. Again, uh, never go to pain, always listen to your body, only to discomfort, and then the idea is to breathe to it. So this time in my second set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my toes as far back as possible, but then rotate my toes as far as forward. And I'm also going to go with my breath. So as I breathe in, I'm going to tip backwards and I'm actually going to use my arms to help uh, illustrate this in like a cactus position. And then as I turn my toes forward, I'm going to roll forward. And I'm going to do this 10 times and then I'm going to see how far I can stretch forward in my straddle stretch at the end of those 10. Now, hopefully it's a little bit further than the first time. Okay. And then I'm going to bring my legs in. You do a couple of windscreen wipers again. They're great. I'm going to go a little bit deeper into this stretch first. I'm going to put my legs into a 90-90 position. And I'm going to lean back over my back leg so I get a nice uh, hip stretch, very unique hip stretch. And again, you can go onto your arms, forearms, or if you're very flexible, you can lie all the way down on the floor. And then I'm going to fold forward like a, a variation of the pigeon stretch over my front leg. And I'm going to do that on the other side. So again, you can hold these positions for 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, because of this video, I'm going to go very quickly, but you could go longer. Uh, again, the idea is with these stretches is to hold them until you are relaxed and then for another 10 seconds. I'm then going to do my final set. So this is my absolute maximum now. I'm going to go back into my uh, standing split, go down, sit down on the floor, get nice and comfortable. And this time I'm going to turn one toe back and one toe forward. Now I'll be honest with you, to which foot you go to, I don't think it really matters, but I'm going to go to the toe that's facing to the back of the room. So I sort of twist towards that. I'm going to try and grab my foot and actually pull my toes to the back of the room so it goes a little bit further. And I'm just going to go left to right 10 times, five times each. And then I'm going to do my maximum uh, pancake fold forward. And um, again, there's a couple of tests. Hands would be level one, forearms level two, uh, stack level three, uh, palm and stack level four, two palms level five, uh, one palm level six, head to the floor level seven, and uh, maybe if I'm lucky today, I'll get my chest all the way to the floor for a level eight. And then those of you who are very close to your split, the idea is then you roll your hips forward into the position. So that's quite an advanced stretch. If you can't get that far, uh, that's okay. Maybe this is a stretch you'd want to do every uh, week or every two weeks to measure progress, uh, but it has helped a lot of my students recently uh, improve their flexibility in some way. 
Thank you as always for watching this video. We're almost coming up on our 200th episode of the Chumbi Wong Dong. So we're trying to think of something very special uh, to do for that. If you'd like to be involved in it, please comment below or uh, message us and uh, leave your email address and we will include you. So this episode is 198. So two weeks from now will be our 200th uh, episode. So um, yeah, that would be fun. So hopefully you can join us for that one. Uh, until then, enjoy your training and thanks you.